Hey Drew, you made a post about insulin resistance the other week. I just wanted you to further expand on it in terms of uh, insulin resistance and weight gain. Yeah, so insulin resistance, with, which is a condition of its own, but it's also a condition that 50 to 70% of all women with PCOS will have, is a condition heavily associated to weight gain. Now the way I describe it, because this is the way it functions, it's really a, a, a cycle and that cycle leads to weight gain. So insulin resistance, of course, the condition, means the cells of your body become resistant to insulin. Insulin acts like the key to those cell doors, allowing nutrients to get in. So when, you are, when your cells are resistant to insulin, it's like the key doesn't fit the lock anymore. So no nutrients can get into the cells. Those nutrients can't just build up in the bloodstream. That's extremely dangerous. So they're gonna be stored as body fat. So the first way is insulin resistance directly attributes to weight gain, fat gain, because of that. Your body has to dump those nutrients into fat cells. Those fat cells become larger or they can expand in size or duplicate and you gain weight, but also indirectly. So remember, insulin resistance causes those cells basically starve. The nutrients can't get in there. Those starving cells send signals to the brain to increase hunger, which means you are going to eat more and as we've spoken about many times before, to achieve weight loss, you must be in a calorie deficit, which means you have to be eating slightly fewer calories than your body needs. But if you're getting signals from your cells to your brain to increase hunger, increase cravings, you're going to eat more. So then your input of energy goes up. Now at the same time, because those cells are starving, it's just like when you're starving. If you haven't eaten for days at a time, you're not gonna be full of energy. You're gonna be tired, exhausted, lethargic, and that's what happens to the cells. So they're sending those signals to the brain too. They're saying, hey, we don't have any energy down here, so don't go crazy and run a marathon. So therefore, you're going to feel tired, exhausted, lethargic. So then, if to lose weight, you have to exercise, you have to be active, you have to be moving, because you have to be burning those calories. You're not doing that anymore because you're tired all of the time. So your output goes down. So your input of energy goes up because you're hungry, your output of energy goes down because you're tired. This also leads to issues like self-confidence, body image issues, self-belief. Why am I always tired? I don't have the willpower, I don't have the self-control. Then you stop believing in yourself as much. And if you don't believe in yourself, you're not gonna take that action. So then, you're eating more, you're exercising less, you're not in a positive mood, that also leads to weight gain, and as you know, if you start putting on weight, that kills your body confidence, that kills your self-confidence and your body image. And then that usually triggers negative behaviors, right? If you jump on the scales and you put on two kilos, you feel shit about yourself. So a lot of people then will go and eat some ice cream to drown their sorrows. So then it starts that vicious cycle again. So that's what I was saying about that cycle. It, it feeds itself to make you gain weight, gain weight. So honestly, the hardest step of any journey for me, I believe, and what I've seen over the years of coaching so many clients, is the first step. It's like that first step to say, okay, I'm going to change, but then following through. Because like you know, it's hard to change your habits. It's, this shit isn't easy. As much as the weight loss industry and all these big trainers would like to say, would like to share their photos of them in bikinis, living a wonderful life, eating great food, making it all look easy, but then you try and it's fucking hard, it doesn't make you feel better. So I wanna tell you, although I'll probably lose business by doing this, it's going to be fucking hard at times. It's going to be fucking difficult. But if you can get through it, it will be the best thing you ever do because you will feel amazing within yourself and about yourself.